take a defeat that relegates you from your Nations League group. How do you reflect on that? Yeah, it's obviously, it's obviously disappointing. Um, every, every tournament we go and we set out to, to want to win the group and to progress and win every game. And obviously, Nations League, we've slipped below our standards. Um, but I didn't think it was all bad tonight, you know. One, one chance for them, one goal. I thought we controlled the game. Um, we passed the ball around well, especially in the first half. Got into some good areas, just couldn't have, just like that cutting edge in the end. Um, but it's coming, you know, look, better, much better performances than there was in the summer. You say there about lacking a cutting edge. It is now five games without a goal from open play. It's a team full of players that score for your clubs. Why do you struggle when you come together for England? It's not that we're not, it's not that we're not creating the chances, um, because so many times tonight we got into the opposition uh, penalty box. Even myself at the end there, you know, I could be adding goals, having a shot instead of laying one off. Um, but look, I see it in training, there's goals for fun. Um, uh, trust me, we're going we're gonna to be good. Well, it is another defeat for England, Joe. How do you sum that one up? Disappointing, Jules. Um, it was the manner in the way that we, we, we sort of started the game, I felt. The Italians were on it. There was an overload. There was, a t there, was, there, was, there was numbers in the middle. We wasn't getting close to them. But then I the same problems that I think surface a lot with England is that we have to be braver. And these lads have got the ability. We've seen it week in, week out. They're top draw players. Be, you know, puff your chest out, put your shoulders back, go and get on the ball in difficult positions. Drive through the lines. Jude Bellingham, a 19-year-old, was our best player tonight. And that's unacceptable with the quality we got because they have got the ability. Declan Rice said it there, slipped below standards. Have England improved since the summer? I think it was a better performance, um, but controlling the game, you mentioned there controlling the game, controlling the game and dominating the game and creating chances are two different things. It's one thing to control the game, but it's all a bit safe. There's no personality from this England team. I don't know whether it's the structure as well. Maybe we can see Southgate play a 3-5-2, someone play with uh, Kane up front, and then that keeps the three in midfield because I think Declan Rice and uh, Bellingham were quite flat tonight and, and Italy's midfield dominated. But it, it's a bit safe, it's a bit predictable, and I think we need to show more personality uh, for England. Welcome back to the San Siro, a bad night for England, but there was a rare moment of quality out on the pitch that one of us enjoyed, Alessandro. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I really enjoy, you know, for, for us, is a it's a, it's a big point, you know, a, a big thing that you're going to win against uh, England at home and bring back you know, a little bit of more energy. We keep going in the National League and then definitely the goal is the best side of the best part of the game. Amazing control by, by Raspadori. Then he has time and probably this is, you know, we can talk about Worker, how much space he gives to Raspadori. But he, he, he did the great things and he turned on, the, on his right and then he find a kind of goal that I really appreciate a lot because it's one of my favorite for sure but you know this this is the moment when you don't have to let him turn but he, he's smart and, and quick so he turned and then he found the back of the net well Germany scored five against Italy yeah. when they faced each other in the summer Joe mm. England couldn't even get one tonight what does that mean for the game on Monday it, it, it puts huge onus on the game Jules this is the last game we're going to play together as a group before we were in Qatar and we're starting the World Cup. Gareth's got a big job to do now to lift the group. You know, there is personality, there is there is character in this group, but they've lost the way a little bit over the last five or six games, you know, but they can find it back. It's very important. It's, Gareth Southgate's got to find a way of galvanising this group over the next week. Yeah, I, I think I think Joe's right. It is about galvanising the group, but I think it's also about figuring out the setup for the, for the England team as well. Welcome back to the San Siro, to Milan for Italy against England, where at half time it is goalless. We could have done with a front three, like you three out on the pitch to get some <laughs> goals there. It was a lively start from Italy, but England grew into the half. What have you made of it, Joe? It's tactically, it's a very interesting game tactically. Barella, Cristante, Jorginho getting an overload against Bellingham and Rice in there. Raspadori is being very clever. I think we might see Gareth having to change something. England haven't had enough possession. The first 10 minutes, very, very shaky. After that, we come into it, but we've not created enough chances. Could that change come on the left, Any? Because we talked before the game about the concerns on the left-hand side. Are you worried? Um, I, I think it's the weakness in the system, given that Saka is playing out of position, um, you know, and, and that's part of the game. Him trying to figure out, when do I go too high? You know, he's got to try and stay defensively because the minute he goes too high and gets too high with Sterling, Italy overload on their right-hand side. You see here, he's not tucked in. Schmacher gets in, 
you know, he's just got to make sure him, uh, uh, Saka and Maguire, they stay connected. Because it's on that left-hand side, if he gets too high, they can get... You see here, Shkamaka again beats uh, Maguire in the air. But it's that left-hand side for England that, that if we don't... If Saka doesn't time it well, you see again, he's too high in the play here. You see here, it, it creates an overload for Italy and then it isolates Maguire on the right-hand side. He's 2v1 on that right-hand side. Yeah. So we've just got to get that right. Saka's got to make sure the timing of when he goes higher... He stays, he stays connected to Maguire because when he gets too high, it's creating problems for England. Yeah, again, and it's understandable. Harry's coming. I thought he grew into the game, Harry. You know, the first 10 minutes was a bit nervous, a bit shaky. Here we're getting caught on a counter-attack. You know, these are, these, are, these are half chances, but these are the details in international football they're going to have to do. But Saka, you know, he's, he's playing... Ali's right, he's playing left wing back for the first time. Whereas Harry's come into the game and he, he's, he's got the eyes of England on him about his performance. You know, that's just that little where he's a little bit touchy early on but I thought they grew into it and England got on top of it later on in the half How do you assess Italy's first half Alessandro? Oh, very very well to be honest in the first 15 minutes I mean, we create a couple of chances uh, plus all the time that uh, England tried to come out they, we pressed high very well and we got uh, a couple of counter-attackers especially on when Wright Phillips uh, uh, lose the ball and we're anticipating in that way so Italy have to uh, enjoy a little bit more the fact that they're playing home, that they're less pressure. We're not going to build something for the World Cup, <laughs> you know, in terms of... Uh, but it's not easy. It's not easy because a team that is going through a lot of stuff. But they, they need to enjoy more and, and to be a little bit more free because I see basically all the game, it's kind of the players in chain, you know. There's no too much creativity I mean they're playing with tension yeah, Italy, yeah. both on both sides yeah you know England a little bit more in the first uh, 20 minutes and then Italy a little bit more in the second part I actually think England can play with a little bit more freedom as well I have to say I like this system this 3-4-3 three, three. you know Maguire and Dyer they're two against one against Schumacher Maguire there's been times he's stepped out and I think we get more joy in that way you know, uh, uh, Sterling and Saka, you know, when they go forward, a bit more quality. But I think England have played well in this system. They look quite balanced. Well, Italy came closest to scoring in the first half, Alessandro. Yeah. Gianluca Scamacca, the West Ham striker, with the effort. How does he manage to get the space to create this opportunity? Well, first of all, because he believes it. You know, it's a kind of very tough ball to get and to reach. Uh, and, uh, you know, Maguire, I think... Uh, he already say, oh, this is a long ball. Nobody's got, nothing's going to happen, this ball. He, he believed it. So he went through and uh, he's very good with the hat. He's scored many goals last year in, uh, in Serie A. Uh, so that's the main thing. So you know, we were talking about the desire at the beginning of the game. You know, that desire, you need to keep going. You need to, to feel uh, and, and to feel it with something. And uh, even the ball that you might see, oh, nothing's going to happen with that easy or no full attention big eyes all the time because it's the little things that make the the difference between score and no score you have a good ball or not a good ball a good assist or whatever it is 